Jasper is one of the most beautiful places on Earth. But our lack of forest management and fire management has led to this. Hotter and drier conditions are leading to worse and worse fires here in Canada. The amount of misinformation going around about Jasper is absolutely infuriating. This fire, the Fort Mac fire, all the fires that happen in Canada is a mix of factors no one person or institution is to blame. Fires are a normal part of our ecosystem, but an increasing number of fires are caused by us Canadians, where lightning causes about 35% and humans cause about 60% of Canadian forest fires, including accidents and arson. However, lightning causes by far the most damage, accounting for 80% of the burnt areas, in part thanks to remoteness and the total energy put into the system. We still don't know how the Jasper fire was started, but that's not particularly relevant since climate change generally just makes fires worse than they otherwise would be, regardless of how or who started them. As a climate change damage problem, we would be looking at how much climate change impacted the overall outcomes, i.e. how much worse did climate change make the fires. Here I'm showing it as 50-50, but it could be anything, and it's going to change case to case. But winters have gotten nothing but warmer. While the forests are drier thanks to climate change, our forests are getting destroyed by these little bastards, pine beetles. When you go to BC, you'll often see this sea of red, dead matchstick trees. I'm going to talk about pine beetle here because it's important, but so far the evidence we have suggests that high winds and temperatures were the main factors of this fire. But also inadequate forest management, some portions of the costs are going to be natural, and some portion of the costs are going to only have happened because climate change got worse. When I was a kid, pine beetle was the talk of the town. In fact, in 2006, fires nearly destroyed my family's cabin. These little bastards eat pine trees from the inside out. The trees have defenses, but those are minimized due to droughts or are bypassed by just simply beetle density. To kill off pine beetles, you need to expose it to negative 35 or lower temperatures for several days or weeks, and it needs to affect large swaths of land, otherwise they can just travel. Canadian winters have done nothing but get warmer, causing the beetle range to dramatically increased since 1999. Beetle kill just creates more dead trees, which not only contribute to Canadian forests being net producers of CO2, but literally adds more dry fuel to the fire. They were a normal part of the Canadian ecosystem, where they target older trees since their numbers were depressed from cold weather, and it was easier to get through the defenses of older dying trees, but it's not the 1990s anymore. And this leads me to the forest management discussion. So the climate's been changing, leading to drier and warmer conditions, and those conditions allow pine beetle to create more red matchsticks across BC and Alberta. You may ask, why the fuck are we not doing more? Well, Jasper Ecological Report seemed to think that beetle kill is a problem, where large swaths of land have been largely unburnt compared to natural cycles. It's been described as a tinderbox, at least as early as 2016, and pine beetle started to make its way into Jasper in the 2010s. Unfortunately, the counterfactual between climate change and no climate change is becoming a reality. We pay for climate change whether we like it or not. We can decide to mitigate climate change or suffer the consequences. We've seen the money preventing fires is becoming increasingly costly, and we know that it's better to pay now rather than paying later. You can see that our fire response to mitigation has stayed essentially constant while our costs to adaptation have been increasing year over year. But justification of reactive responses are politically much easier than proactive responses, like controlled burns. Economic loss is more than just putting out fires. Through fire prevention strategies, physical firefighting, habitat loss, health effects from smoke, and the loss of pristine tourist destinations and the economic value that they bring. Jasper is the second most popular national park in Canada. The cost of mitigation and climate change is going to vary from fire to fire, disaster to disaster. It's important that we understand there's a natural component and then an anthropogenic climate change component. The mitigation strategies are pretty easy. We can lower CO2 emissions. We can conduct more risk assessments. We can plant a diverse type of trees, invest more in forest management and deadwood removal, and do more controlled burning. There's also been talks of creating a national guard or defense force as part of our military. At the end of the day, this failure is on us. There's a positive feedback loop going on where temperatures get hotter, beetle kills more trees, those trees produce more CO2, and then the beetles kill more trees. We're going to have to spend an increasing amount of resources onto this problem. And no, it's not because we spend money on Ukraine, you fucking snake. I didn't realize 155 shells put out fires. This isn't some zero-sum game. Dumbasses that think spending a dime on government is socialism is what's holding us back. Nobody has said that we can't fight fires because we're supporting Ukraine. We can afford to do both, you fucking Russian puppet bot. I find it fucking despicable that people are willing to say these things and get thousands of likes and upvotes. I know it's fun to just blame whoever the federal government is or whoever's in power, whoever's in charge, but this is a systemic issue. We've barely changed our spending patterns on forest fire management in the last fucking 25 years. No wonder we're having all these fucking problems. And then we get the deniers of climate change like this fuckwit. This isn't a failure of Trudeau or Daniel Smith. It's a systemic failure for decades of inadequately addressing the costs of climate change and to price in those costs.
but that's hardly a consolation for all the people who continue to lose their homes. Anyway, stay safe and support initiatives for better forest management to at least mitigate these disasters. At the end of the day, it's going to take us taking these fires more seriously for them ever to be mitigated.